All right, everybody, uh, welcome back. Uh, so now we're going to um, do an extension problem of the segment addition postulate. Uh, so just to make things a little bit more interesting, I'm going to give you um, a extension of the segment addition postulate as it relates with ratios. Uh, so the basic question behind uh, this problem is, can you add more than two line segments together? Well, if you can add two numbers together, you can add more than two numbers together. So if we can add the measurements of two line segments, we could actually add together measurements of more uh, than two line segments. So one uh, central concept uh, that is in this problem is this notion of a ratio. Uh, so a ratio is just a comparison between numbers. And it tells us that the ratio of h i to i j to j k, where h i j and k are on the same line, is three to three to four. So I'm just going to draw the picture here. So we start at h, then we go to i, and then j, and then finally k. I'm just going to connect the dots. In geometry, when you see letters, just uh, connect the dots, and it will make the, the shape or the thing uh, that we are, are describing. Now, 3 to 3 to 4. So I'm just going to put that in for now. So it says that hi corresponds with 3. I, I to j corresponds with 3. And j to k corresponds with 4. And it tells us that HK, we're just going to put that in as 40 right now. So the question is, does 3, 3, and 4 actually reflect uh, those distances? The answer is obviously no, because 3 plus 3 plus 4 is not equal to 40. But, you know, they have the same ratio. So, you know, for every 3 inches of I to J, I have 4 inches of J to K. So to solve this problem, uh, we are going to put a x, a factor of x, on each of these line segments. Uh, so what we did here is we turned this in to a segment addition uh, type of problem. So now instead of like adding two line segments together, so I have hi plus ij plus JK, I'm adding three line segments together, and that equals to HK. And then now I can just put in the uh, variables and expressions. Right, so I have 3X plus 3X plus 4X equals to 40. And I'm just going to add up those X's to get a total of 10x and divide both sides by 10, I get that x is equal to 4. Now, like the last problem, just solving for x isn't good enough, it tells us what is ij. So ij, it tells us, in the original problem, is equal to 3x. So I'm just going to substitute the 4 uh, that I got into the expression uh, so I get that that is equal to 12. So this would be 12. I mean 3x is a 3x no matter how you how you slice it. And then 4 times 4 is 16. Um, so we can actually see here that 12 is 4 times as big as 3, and 16 is 4 times as big as 4. And that's how we know that those ratios um, make sense. Um, I really like you know, this type of problem for a critical thinking problem because um, I like problems that kind of put together you know, different geometric concepts. And ratio is a big, um, heavily used geometric concept. 
and uh, we're connecting it here with the segment addition postulate. And I think this is a very doable problem um, for you guys uh, to try out on your delta math. And um, usually we, we don't include this type of problem, uh, but I saw that this was here in delta math, and I thought that this would be a really neat way to extend uh, the realm of the segment addition postulate. Uh, I wish you uh, the best of luck um, with the delta math segment addition postulate problems, and uh, feel free to you know reach out to me or your teacher uh, for help. And thank you very much.